Hey guys, how are you doing? So I am getting ready to go to work and it is so cold today. It's like 30 degrees. I think we had our first freeze last night. But anyway, today we're going to be talking about Nature's Aid. So if you haven't heard about Nature's Aid, it's this really pure product that stems, um, the main ingredient is aloe vera. And I first heard about this through 40 Below Fruity like three years ago. She said it was the only thing that she could use on her skin that helped her skin. And so I ordered it on Amazon, and it takes like two or three weeks to get to you because it comes from Canada. Well, I guess it depends on where you live. But um, I used it, and I loved it. It was it's so pure. It just has like witch hazel, tea tree, aloe vera, uh, maybe vitamin E or A, and that's about it. And I've used it on cuts and burns and sunburns and um, my acne. I've used it on a lot of things. And about a month or two, I got a brand new bottle of it, but I hadn't used it until, um, I guess it was yesterday. So I was putting it on my skin, and it started burning really bad. So I wiped it off, and I was like, why on earth is this burning? And so I was kind of just looking at the bottle, because it had new packaging, and I was just la 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 looking at it, and all of a sudden I looked at the ingredients. And they have changed, <laughs> and there's a bunch of weird looking ingredients in there that I have, would not have put on my skin had I known that they were in there. I didn't know that they changed the ingredients. So, um, Nature's Aid, what's going on with that? So I'm not going to use that product anymore and why it burned like crazy, I don't know, but obviously there's something in there that, that my skin doesn't like and it's, it's so interesting how sensitive I am to products now and e and what I'm most sensitive to now after going raw, I believe, because if you don't know this, after you go raw, your your senses, I don't know how to put this, but they kind of go superhuman on you. <laughs> no, I don't know. But my sensitivity to smells has just gone out the roof. And if someone has on a perfume that I don't like, it can make me sick. If I smell gasoline or any type of chemical smell, it can just make me really sick. Not really sick, but it bugs me, I guess is a better way of saying it. And back in the day day when I was all toxic and just not cleaned out at all, I could smell anything and it wouldn't bug me. So, but now that's times have changed. But anyway, so that's that about Nature's Aid. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about today is the sauna. So I was watching a video the other day by Dr. Robert Kassar, and he was in the infrared sauna with another lady who's a naturopathic doctor, and they were talking about the importance of cleansing the skin and going in the sauna and waiting until you have a river of sweat on you and then massaging your skin. And they have specific plastic tools that are more for advanced levels, you know, if you've been doing it for a long time, and you just kind of like scrape your skin. And so I just got so excited about that because I've done gua sha and stuff like that in the past, but I went to the sauna um, last night and then the night before that, and I didn't, I don't have any of those plastic tools, but I just took a rag, and whenever I was really, really sweating, I just like rubbed my body really hard. And it, it, he says that the cleaner you are, the dirtier your rag should be. So he lifted up his rag, and I know that's gross, but it was like all green and brown and stuff. And that means that your skin is releasing because our skin is, the, is our third kidney. And no matter how clean you are, no matter how, um, you know, great of a raw vegan diet you eat, um, you are still being around toxins. And Dr. Robert Kursar lives on Hawaii on a clean island. He grows his own food and he's still released a lot of stuff through his skin. So the point of me talking about this is, um, first of all, saunas are amazing for you and you should go into a sauna and, and in about six minutes, you should be sweating like a river. And if you're not, then you're plugged and I'm plugged because I've always taken a long time to sweat. I am not someone who sweats easily and whether that's related to the thyroid or what or my really thick skin ring in my eyes, um, it just, it, it's something that I definitely need to work on. So I am just really enjoying going to the sauna lately and um, I, I, I really have learned a lot through Dr. Robert that it's not good to be plugged and we need to keep our skin 
releasing every day and that is something that I love doing the sauna for and so I've known people that have sweat really easily and I and I always was like hmm they sweat so easily what's going on with that and now I realize that that makes you so much healthier if you sweat easy that's that's really awesome because that means that your skin is opened it's not plugged and constricted you're able to release things out of the skin that's always a good thing so anyway, I encourage you guys to look into infrared saunas and get the skin releasing a massive amount of toxins that you just can't do otherwise, even through exercise. So yeah, that's my video. Click like and subscribe. Check out my website for beautiful things like iridology analysis and really cute vegan shirts. And I also do Skype coaching now. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.